So last week I showed you how to map out the top 20 places to view the solar eclipse. We created this really fun categorical visualization of the duration and the path of totality here. If you haven't already seen this, you can pause this video and go check it out. I'll link to it down in the video description. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to map out the specific umbras. This is the shadow of the moon where people are going to see a total solar eclipse within this path of totality. And I'm going to show you how to map it out at specific time intervals. So if we come over here to NASA's website, their visualization that that they put together, you can see that you have these ellipses along the path to totality. This is exactly what I'm going to be creating. Once again, the data set is available right here. Just scroll down, you'll see it right here. This is a zip file with a bunch of different shape files within it. Again, I'll link to this in the video description. Now, once you get this data set downloaded, you want to go look for the shape file umbra underscore low. So you have low and high. These are essentially just different time intervals, high being one second intervals, low being 10 second intervals. And we want an even longer interval than that. So we just grab this shape file here for umbra underscore low, simply drag it and drop it directly on your felt map and then click create. Okay, it uploaded, and if I zoom in, you can tell there are a lot of these. If I click on the data layer and hold the shift key and hit four, that's gonna bring up my data table. And if I scroll this all the way down, you can see that we have over 1,100. That is a lot. We don't need that many. We need more like between 15 and 20. Actually, if we go back to our NASA visualization, you can see that they only have a handful right here. And if you look really close, you can see that they're doing this in five minute intervals. So how are we gonna do this? Well, it's gonna take a little bit of manual work and all we need to do is filter these out. So if I go to the filter tab over here in the style editor, I can add a filter. So what do I wanna filter this by? Actually, let's open up the data table once again. And if we look over here in the far left, we have UTC time. So it's coordinated universal time. What I can do is I can essentially just come through here and filter these out in five minute intervals. I'm going to go right here and I've already looked and I know that my first polygon starts at 1810. So if I click on add filter, I can do UTC time right here and it's going to give me these check boxes. Now I can search these really quickly just by going 1810. It's going to bring these up. Now I want to grab this one right here. So at zero seconds right here, click on this and there we go. Now it's filtered everything out except for just this one. Now I'll click here again and I'll go to 1815 and do the same thing. Click on this one right here. And now take a look at that. Now we have these polygons pretty nicely separated here. So now if we go over here, just type in 20. Here we have 1820.00, click this, there we go. Now I'm just gonna repeat this process until I get all the way to Canada. Okay, it looks great, and that didn't take long at all using our filter tool. Now I'm gonna open the data table back up, and you can see that we've brought 1181 rows down to 20. Now I can quickly style this a bit. So let's say we wanna change our background to dark mode again, and we'll grab these. We'll go to the Style tab, select Fill, and then I'm gonna bring the opacity of our fill down a little bit like this. Okay, that's looking good. And if I actually wanna visualize the time, I can just add labels right here and it already defaults to UTC time. I'm gonna bring the size of these down, something like seven or eight. Let's say I wanna spice it up even more. I can go ahead and grab the center here. I'm gonna drag and drop this in our felt map and I'll also go grab path high. Okay, the center is uploaded. Let's go ahead and change this from a solid to a dashed line and we'll also turn this to a white color and there's our new path. I'll grab the path. I'm gonna do the same thing. We wanna do like a white color and we'll bring the opacity way, way, way down. All right, that's very exciting how quick and easy that was to put together using felt and data from NASA. I wanna show you one other thing that is very, very cool. So I'm gonna exit full screen here and let's say we wanna combine this map with our original map that we created last week. That is very simple as well. So I'm gonna head over to list mode and I'm just gonna grab all of these layers here, simply copy them, come over to this map and then paste. And look at that, it added our new layers. If I turn these off, we now have these layers on this map and now we just need to style these to make the styles match. But isn't that crazy cool? It's such a great workflow, I love it. 
Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Again, all the links are down in the video description if you want to go check out the data set from NASA or the NASA visualizations or my map from last week. Everything's down there. And if you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe and activate notifications and enjoy the eclipse today. See you next time.